everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. As you can see, I am currently driving the Cybertruck. I've been driving it for a while and to be honest, it's quite a beast. Now, I am not the target audience for this vehicle, nor does it fit in my lifestyle. However, I love technology and cars in general, so I wanted to see if the Cybertruck could be a good vehicle for non-truck drivers like me who want to drive this purely for its style and tech. So in this video, I'm going to go over all of that along with my favorite features. First, let's talk design. I was fortunate to attend the Cybertruck delivery event in Giga, Texas, where I even got to meet and interact with Franz, Tesla's chief designer. I got to see Elon Musk and the Cybertruck live in person, and it was the strangest yet most beautiful thing I had ever seen. It's completely angular with not a single curve on sight, with its cold rolled stainless steel exoskeleton that is bullet resistant. It looks unlike anything we have seen before in a mass market vehicle, the Cybertruck screams future and as if it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. Also, since this is the Foundation Series Cybertruck, there's a couple laser edge badges letting you know this is a limited Foundation Series edition. Other than this, there are no logos or badges on the vehicle. Now, the most striking element of the new Cybertruck is the light. Now, if you see the light in the front, it's literally edge to edge. It looks really cool, makes it look like an alien spaceship. And of course, you've got lights on the bottom here as well on both sides. This looks really impressive. You've got to check out this car in person to see how cool it looks. And the light I think makes a big impact with its striking appearance. And this also translates to the rear light bar which looks just as cool as the front lights. Now let's take a look at the tire. These all-terrain tires are massive, measuring up at 35 inches and these do not include the aero caps as shown in a lot of the marketing videos. Tesla is apparently redesigning them to correct some design issues. Also, if you look at the doors, there's no traditional door handle. Instead, there's this button camouflaged into the window that you click and the door opens. However, I do wish that like my Model X, it would automatically just open all the way for you and close when you hit the brakes. But I do like how all the doors fully open in a 90 degree angle. What's really cool about the Cybertruck is the back seats. So if you want more space, open up the door. And you see this little latch right here. You pull this latch and the seats go up. So see it right there. I'm going to do it from the other side as well. Look at all the space that you get. In fact, I can even walk right through it. That's a lot of space, isn't it? So if you want more space, just pull up the back seats and you get it. Also, the windshield on the Cybertruck is ginormous, one of the largest windshields in the industry. With this, you also get a ridiculously large windshield wiper that measures around four feet long. And for the first time ever, Tesla is now making the front trunk electric. So what you do is you just click open trunk, right? And you see that it opens. Inside the front, there's a massive Cybertruck logo that's embedded on the back of the liner. Looks very cool. And if I want to close it, I just click close trunk and it closes. So once again, I wish this is something that all Teslas had. I'm glad they're bringing it with the Cybertruck and hopefully more Teslas are on the way with an electric trunk. All right, so now let's take a look at how to open the tonneau cover of the Cybertruck. You can obviously do it from the screen on the inside of the vehicle, but there's a button right here to open it. So when I click on that, the trunk opens. Now, if I want to open up the, the tonneau cover, there's a switch right here, so I just click that, and voila, it opens up. And when it opens up, it unleashes the rear window of the Cybertruck. In comparison to the Ford F-150 Lightning and Silverado EV RST, the Cybertruck actually has the longest traditional bed out of the three at a full six feet. Bed size is significantly reduced if a buyer purchases the optional range extender which is stored in the bed. So this might look really heavy, but honestly, you can just take your finger and close it just like that. Also, for the first time ever, Tesla is adding a front bumper camera. This is something I wish all Teslas included, as it makes parking way easier when you can get a better look at what is in front of you. This is especially handy with the Cybertruck because the front dash is very deep, so the camera helps with the visibility. Now let's go over the interior, which is typical Tesla. Very minimal with just the steering wheel and a large touchscreen display. Though it looks weird at first, I quite like this new steering wheel. The design is basically the yoke and round wheel styles combined, 
but now featuring actual clicking buttons. It's a unique steering wheel and I do enjoy driving it, especially since it's steer by wire, but I will get to that steer by wire technology when I discuss the driving experience in a second. Now let's look at the display, which is 18 and a half inches and the largest ever on a Tesla. You have no gear stocks, so your gear selector is on the screen where you can control to go forward or reverse. However, you also have a manual gear selector here as well. So the Cybertruck is one of the first Tesla vehicles to include ambient lighting. And in order to change the ambient lighting, just go into settings, go into lights, accent lights, and you can literally change it to anything you want. It looks incredible. You also get two hexagonal cup holders and right behind them, you have wireless charging pads for your phone. So you just take your phone, put your phone right here, and it starts to charge. You get a nice sunroof on the top and the seats, both the front and rear are very comfortable and the ventilation feature also works pretty well. Also for the rear seat passengers, it's quite spacious with plenty of legroom and headroom as well. All right, so on the back of the Cybertruck, you have a large nine and a half inch display. It's the largest on any Tesla, including my Model X. And basically here you can control everything. You can control your AC and the direction of you know the vent. You can also control your heated seats. So you can turn on your heated seats. Obviously you can watch all your Netflix shows, YouTube, Hulu, Twitch, and I'm sure more will come soon. Adjust your music player here. Now there's another really cool feature. Let's say someone is sitting here and they want more leg room, right? This seat will literally go forward. So let me show how that works right now. There's this button here, click on this button. As you can see, the seat goes forward, so you get much more leg space. And if you click this button, the seat comes right back. So this is absolutely fantastic for those who want additional you know, legroom in the back. Now let's talk about the driving experience. And to be honest, I really enjoy driving the Cybertruck. So what I really like about the Cybertruck is the steer by wire drive. In a steer by wire setup, the steering wheel is not directly connected to the wheels via a shaft. So for example, I'm driving right now, I move it just slightly and it turns and it actually has a better a better turn radius than that of the model s and for a truck as big as this is that's really really neat so the turning radius as you can see it just move it a little bit and it just maneuvers around really well plus the rear wheels also move and turn so they rotate in the opposite direction based on where i'm turning so that also really helps when i'm driving and i'm trying to make those you know quick turns and stuff so that's pretty neat also, depending on your driving preferences, you can even adjust your ride height, allowing you to have more than 17 inches of total ground clearance. Also, the Cybertruck's air suspension is the best suspension on any Tesla ever. It literally soaks up the bumps well and feels pretty floaty while on the highway. What I love about the Cybertruck is the acceleration. Even for this all-wheel drive variant, it's very quick. It just feels so strange to be in a big truck like this and that it drives like a sports car. All right, so when I started this video, I talked about how this review is going to be from a non-truck driver's perspective because I know that there's a lot of viewers out there like me who want to drive the Cybertruck and not use it for any of the reasons that it's intended for. Having said that now and after driving the Cybertruck for quite some time, I've come to the consensus that I really love the Cybertruck but I wouldn't want one for myself. It's quite a hefty truck. And for someone who doesn't want to use it for the purposes that a truck is for, then I don't think you're going to get the use out of it that you should for a $100,000 truck. Second, the range is decent. It's not the best. Uh, I get around 278 miles on average, and I kind of expected more, but that's what I'm getting right now. Maybe a future software update might fix that. And at the end of the day, this is a style statement. It's a very good looking car. No wonder you're seeing a ton of celebrities driving it and taking it out. So if you like the attention that it brings, you're gonna love it. The parking spaces are congested. And when I took this out in downtown Atlanta, I just did not have the best time driving it. Driving this and parking it was not fun. What I really want Tesla to do is bring a smaller version of the Cybertruck, a Cybertruck Mini, I would totally buy that, and I'm sure a lot of people would. But at its current state, it's way too big, it's expensive, and like I said, I'm not a truck driver. For truck drivers, I think this is one of the best trucks out there in the market. But at the end of the day, I want to know your thoughts, your questions, so leave them down in the comment section below. I'm going to continue doing more videos on the Cybertruck and obviously all things Tesla and Apple. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time.